to Bando Chart here, and I am in the beautiful Sequoias. Take a look at this. Unbelievable. Thank you for tuning in. I'm nowhere near my aquarium, so let's take a look at some. Let's take a look at some shots from Instagram. How does that sound? One of the things I love about platforms like Instagram and YouTube is they give you this ongoing record of where you've been in the fish keeping hobby. It's one of the reasons why I recommend to so many people to go ahead and post. Um, if your channel takes off and becomes popular or it doesn't, you'll have this ongoing uh, record being stored out there in the cloud using somebody else's storage that really costs you nothing and allows you to take back uh, looks, you know, to take looks back at where you've been and the kind of fish that you've you've owned in the past and at one point might have been very dear to you. It'll remind you of projects like when I started the 135 you see here, um, when I went through my phase of live plants in a cichlid tank and um, watching fish like this like this fish here and other fish that are watching them grow and color up, you can go back and revisit like the old man here, the OB that I had, which was my first cichlid and uh, the early coloring up of my tetrastigma and uh, things like this. My, uh, my big, you know, my, some of my big haps now that I can look back and see when they were just juvies. Also fish that uh, are no longer around uh, for one reason or another, that I was very, very fond of, just continued to live in these uh, records up there in the cloud in both Instagram and Facebook. So I highly recommend to you folks uh, to go ahead and start an account, start posting, and uh, you'll find that uh, you'll enjoy, like I do, going back and looking at some of these records that are sitting out there that will show you a little bit about where you've been and remind you of just how far how far along you've come in uh, in growing out certain fish and in uh, in the uh, in your evolution in the hobby and as you can see here as uh, these photographs progress and go from uh, further back in my cichlid keeping history and move forward uh, you can see the different phases that I've gone through, the different kinds of fish that I included in my collection, and uh, for what uh, for whatever reasons currently um, either continue to have in my collection, like this polystigma, or no longer have in my collection, like that otter point you saw earlier. So um, these are, for the last year, uh, some of my favorite photos. Uh, some of them show before and afters. Some of them show different uh, starts, like the beginning of the 100 acrylic. Um, and uh, I really enjoy going back and looking at where these fish have been and how I m might have rockscaped the tank earlier on, um, any changes that I may have made. I really enjoy going back and taking a look at uh, what has come before and um, so here you have it these uh, are my favorite photos from the last 12 months off of instagram and uh, some of these are uh, before and afters some of them show fish in a uh, particular state of being fired up um, certainly that polystigma those photos that i took of that uh, of that nimbochromus polystigma when he was fired up are rare indeed since when the um, when the Venusas took over that tank, that polystigma has not been fired up again. So, <laughs> so those photos are uh, very cherished by me since this fellow right here uh, took over as the tank boss. And um, now second in command, of course, is that, uh, is that Fusco. The evolution of the fish in the 100 and certainly in the 60 grow out um, and here's that uh, polystigma fired up with blue and green in its body. Just a beautiful fish when he's fired up, but he backed down very, very quickly and lost his color when the Venusas took over the tank. 
I have a uh, nice photographic record of the entire situation uh, preserved forever on Instagram. And uh, <clears throat> this is the beginning of the uh, 150 acrylic project. This is right after I picked up that white lips. Here is the younger of the uh, Taiwan reefs, and here is the tetrastigma caught at different moments of being fired up. As you can see, sometimes I post collages. I, um, I love posting um, multiple angles and looks of the fish, and I also enjoy posting, as you have seen here, some of the before and afters that can show you a fish three or four years ago, and sh or a year ago, or two years ago, and show you how they look now. And uh, this, of course, helps those of you who are raising these kinds of fish, and in some cases starting to lose your patience because it's not coloring up. It can at least provide you with a little bit of hope that, uh, <laughs> that it's worth the wait. And uh, I have certainly discovered that it that very much is worth the wait. One thing I, I noticed also as I go through these photographs is uh, I can see how I've become a bit more comfortable with the use of the, um, of the Apple, the Apple 8S as a camera. Uh, early on, I was getting very, very good results with the Samsung, uh, the Samsung uh, camera, and I still feel that that camera is superior in its ability to capture motion. Um, but you can see as the uh, photographs progress over time, the uh, clarity and the sharpness and the focus and the color saturation of the photographs as I become more and more familiar with the, um, with the features of the Apple 8S, uh, you can see the photographs become better, the uh, colors become truer and, uh, and better saturated and uh, the capturing of action becomes more and more uh, precise. Uh, <clears throat> if um, this is a uh, <laughs> one of my favorite shots, but there it is, my favorite photos from Instagram. So that's the best from Instagram for the last year. Hope you enjoyed it. If you ever get a chance, see the giant sequoias in California. You'll never, ever forget it. They're amazing. Doesn't really uh, capture the beauty of these, of these amazing trees. Thank you for tuning in.